Just to 
your bones. There's nothing inside. When it's always me burning down the walls, is that a way for me to break? I'm a chef chauffeur at Post Masquerade. I name both face and mind, afraid for you to draw. I'm a chef chauffeur, have no face to show. Alright, <clears throat> what is up everyone, OG over here from Player Essence, welcome back, welcome back to another PE Live, hopefully my voice isn't breaking on here, I'm hitting some pretty high levels on the red bar, but anyway, what's up everyone, how's everybody doing today, uh, thank you for joining me on this glorious Thursday, on the day after, well I guess maybe some people, but Joker's been released for Super Smash Bros, Nintendo service completely crashed, uh, people weren't at people were having issues, but um, hopefully everybody's got a chance to play it as Joker uh, We're gonna be talking about him in addition to some other topics There's actually a lot of pretty cool news 
that's been today. I mean, I've been gathering all the different news for this past month in terms of games and stuff. And Nintendo could have easily had a direct, and I think people would have been okay with that, right? I think people would have been okay if they had like even like a mini direct. There's been so much different stuff. I mean, we've got Castlevania news. We've got all the games for Castlevania, uh, the the first anniversary collection. Uh, we've got a 13 remake that has been announced for the PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Switch, which was a GameCube, uh, PS2, and Xbox game. It was like cell shaded uh, shooter. Um, we've just got a ton of different stuff, man. Katana Zero just launched on the Nintendo Switch today. Um, that is a fantastic game. It's like, man, I don't know even know how to explain it. It's it's like a Super Meat Boy uh, meets like, you know, action bloody beat him up i mean it's just it's nuts that game is and the story presentation is absolutely incredible for for like what it is i mean we've got so much stuff to go over man i'm excited to go over a lot of this different uh, a lot of different stuff here we also have a new report uh from the nikkei or a rumor however you want to classify it that nintendo switch they're going to be having a nintendo switch mini this fall however there's not going to be necessarily a regular type of nintendo switch like pro there's going to be like the next nintendo's already working on the next gen nintendo switch so you know people have been talking about oh well it's going to be like a, a pro model where it's like a slight bump or it's a little bit more of a bump but no as in like it's going to be like a next gen switch you know um, so there's all sorts of stuff going on right now, man. Like it, it's, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. A lot of games to play, a lot of news to talk about, a lot of rumors still floating around, a lot of different reports. It's cool, man. It's really cool. So, um, hopefully all of you guys are enjoying your day today and enjoying, uh, the Joker Joker's release. Let's go in and get into some of the Ninja news for those who, um, are new to the channel, or if you just want to know what's going on, um, um, you know, in the village today, today we did, we do have, um, uh, we had Katana Zero gameplay already up on the channel. So that game is out. It's fifteen dollars. Um, I got a review code for it yesterday or the day before. One of those two. Either way, I was playing it last night. I busted it. Worked some overtime for you guys and got that video up this morning. So, um, so yeah, you guys can check out that video on Katana Zero. Make sure you do so. Also, we had a the reports about the next gen Switch. The first Mortal Kombat 11 uh, trailer was released, which was looking absolutely fantastic for the Switch. Um, so we got that video out. Plus, we had some stuff more Joker 3.0. And uh, something else I can't remember though. There was some some other thing that I talked about, but I couldn't remember. But either way, a lot of great content already on the channel for today. Uh, for those who are asking about my five-hour Joker gameplay live stream and why that isn't up on the channel, I wanted it to be up yesterday or early this morning, but um, it's stuck in YouTube processing hell. So I think there's definitely an error with that. So I can't do anything about it. Um, I think some of you guys can watch it, but I think for the most part, it's just kind of stuck in, in with, with them like forever processing, which happens at times for certain videos. So uh, I don't know what else to do on that one. I'll see what I can do to uh, get that one going. But either way, uh, maybe I'll get it up at some point. If not, I'll just I'll just record a whole nother video of like a ton of me playing Joker, like 30 minutes of like Elite Smash or online with Joker. And I'll, and I'll upload that to the game, uh, to the to the uh, to the channel. So um, I'll make up for it, even if. Oh, my damn alarm. Screw you. He doesn't like me talking about Joker. Anyway, I'll be right back, guys. Let me arm this alarm real quick. Alright. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, um, I will upload just, like, 30 minutes or so of, like, Elite Smash gameplay with Joker. Um, so, you guys can check that out. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, just clean gameplay. Like, no nothing with me on the camera or anything. Just me. Um, voice over, just voiceover gameplay. So I can do that tonight if the processing hell doesn't, uh, you know, stop. I can just do that tonight for you guys. So, you know, it can be all good there. So uh, let's go and get into the uh, the shout outs here. Um, and uh, we will start off with everybody who's, uh, if you're here in the chat, you want me to say hi to you, feel free to say hi and I'll say hi back. Um, Galaxy B, uh, Jarmo, what's up, Jarmo? Um, how's it going? Um, yeah, no notification. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, you know, make sure you follow me on Twitter so you can get notifications. Uh, VC, Alina Ninja VC is here. John Carl, what's up, man? How's it going? Um, Dank Meme, once again, what's up, Dank Meme? Reningon user Party Man's here. Galaxy B is here as well. Elizabeth, what's up, Elizabeth? Lizzie's here as well. Shout outs. Shadow King, Elite Ninja Shadow King's here as well. Um, let's see here. Um, Infernalim, what's good? Infernalim, good to see you here as well. Um, boom, John Carl, once again. Slayer, what's up, man? How's it going? Um, M. Williams is here. What's up, M. Williams? How's it going? um fuzzy is it fuzzy fuzzy moto what's up man good to see you back from yesterday warren wise what's up man how's it going how's it going you guys talk about some katana zero we'll definitely talk about that 
um gunslinger what's up gunslinger you guys you guys have enjoying some cuphead that's good good to hear that you guys are enjoying the games it's always good when we can talk more about games that are coming out than rumors and you know stuff that's going to be coming out but stuff that's actually out so that's good kaido j what's up guys uh no b dk racing fan what's up man how's it going ahmed what's up ahmed good to see you here once again dave gaming so that's elite ninja dave gaming is here um you haven't got a chance to try joker okay well i know you said you were graveyard so you, you weren't able to do it yesterday um spider monkey what's up man good to see you here it's been a while um yeah the nintendo and tencent partnership i'm waiting for a little bit more information on that before we uh before we talk about it but yeah it does seem like nintendo is going to be distributing uh the switch in china through uh tencent so we'll, we'll, we'll have to see, wait and see i'm waiting for a little bit more information before i really talk about that uh, but maybe I'll talk about it probably like in a PE news video or something. Um, Alucard, what's up, Alucard? Uh, thank you, man. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for the compliment. Soul Toxin Gaming, what's up, man? Soul Toxin Gaming, uh, you want to try Cuphead? Yeah, go ahead and try it out, man. It's good. Uh, Jumpmon, what's up, Jumpmon? Good to see you here. Danielle Crowder, what's up? What's up? Uh, enjoying playing Joker. All right. Also, top Persona waifu. Um, uh, hold on to random questions. Uh, I don't really have any top Persona waifus to be honest, but um. Hold on to random questions. Maybe I can, I can think of one by the end of the stream. <laughs> um, let's see here. Um, uh, Warren, okay, I already got uh, Michael. Michael uh, Corner, what's up, man? Uh, no, uh, Cummer, Michael Cummer. What's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? Um, so I think that's pretty much everybody here. We already got over 70 people here, so thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Um, cool. I've been busy, but still around. All right, shout outs. Danny Ingram, Sal Vasquez, what's up, man? Um, would you rec you and your wife? I mean, uh, I guess maybe. Um, if you guys play DKC, yeah, you and your wife can play Cuphead. Uh, hey OJ, love and Katana Zero. Okay, did you did you get a chance to download it? Did you get a chance to download it already? Okay, good stuff. All right, so uh, I think that's all the shoutouts. Yo, never mind. Alonzo Vines, the leading Alonzo Vines is here. All right, guys, shall we get into the content? We're gonna get into this new report. Chris Levy, what's up, man? <laughs> How's it going, my boy? Good to see you here. You know, you know, one thing real quick, guys, before we start. I was at the I was at the grocery store. I was at Walmart. You know, I was also I was picking up supplies, some Drano napkins, you know, disinfectant like disinfectant wipes, a little bit of food, just stuff like that, just random various things, you know, for the house. And um, I was putting everything in my car, and then a freaking wasp. I mean, swear, like the biggest like buck bumble bee slash wasp literally flew right into my car, just like said move felicia like bye felicia like right by me like literally looked at me i looked and it just and it looked me dead in the eye and and went right into my car and was like i was just like are you kidding me you know are you are you kidding me and i read somewhere online that like wasps or whatever can remember faces so i was just like that wasp is going to kill me one of these days i'm going to die of this crazy uh buck bumble slash killer wasp that literally looked me dead in the eye as in like this close and we literally looked at each other in the eye it was the freakiest thing that i've ever seen in my life man um it was crazy like i've never had that i've seen wasp before but i've never had a wasp that close to my face to where i literally looked at it in the eye so i'm surprised i didn't get stung in my eye i thought it was all over for like my left eye man um but anyway uh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to say that story, but I just had to say something about it because it was nuts. I mean, it just happened like a, about hour and a half, about hour and a half, two hours ago. I mean, so I was just at the Walmart, so it was crazy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I walk into my dude says, bye, Felicia. That seriously, man. Um, it was, it was nuts, man. Um, either way, um, let's go ahead and let's move on to the topic here, guys. Uh, we've got this new report of a switch um a a switch mini so we've already got reports from that but now we have the nikkei which is not just a random source which is not just somebody but the nikkei is now saying kind of backing up wall street journal but here's what the nikkei says about the switch mini they say that the switch mini is coming out by the end of the year that's what that's when they say the switch mini is coming by the end of the year wall street journal says it as early as summer nikkei saying um which is a japanese uh paper like respected paper you know whatever nikkei is saying um you know by the end of the year however they're saying that there isn't necessarily like a switch pro model they're saying that nintendo is working on a next generation switch but it's been pushed because they want i guess they want to make it more ambitious or they don't know who's going to be 100 who's going to be leading the project but they're tinkering around with ideas which 
I don't think that's really much of anything that we didn't already know. Yes, Nintendo is working on their next generation Switch or their next generation device, obviously, because what PS5 and Xbox One, they're working. I mean, obviously, they're going to have their system. So Nintendo's going to have a system at some point. This is just the cycle of things. You know, this is this is the cycle. As soon as the Xbox One was, was released, Microsoft was working on the Xbox One S or the Xbox One X, which which were, you know, from the X, original Xbox or the Xbox One X. That's a. It's quite the that's quite the jump, you know. It's it's quite the jump um, in power when it comes to things. So I mean, it, it could be that it could be that Nintendo's been work, working on a huge jump, but it's not necessarily truly next generation. It's just how they're reporting it. To get their words exactly, here's what they said. Um, I talked about it in the video, but I'll talk about it here. They said development on a next generation device that is a full model change of the current hardware. Hardware will reportedly follow the less expensive model. So they're saying after they get the Switch Mini done and good, then it's all hands on deck, you know, working on the Nintendo Switch, the next Nintendo Switch, which, like, once again, it's, it makes sense to me. A Switch Mini makes sense to me. I don't really think anything that they're saying here is too out of uh, out of line. But once again, we do have to remember, guys, this is, uh, this is a report from them, but it's also, you can also take it as rumors since it's not confirmed as well. So, uh, so yeah, like a Super Switch. But then again, maybe not. I mean, I'm not exactly sure, you know, because I remember people were talking about some of the code names for like the Xbox One X, and they're talking about this is a full next generation almost type of leap. And if you look at the power, like, okay, well, yeah, it's like three, four times more powerful than the original Xbox One. So there was reports that Microsoft was working already on like a next generation type of device that's going to have next generation graphics, which that turned out to be the Xbox One X, which it's not necessarily next generation, but it's a lot more powerful than the original xbox but the law of diminishing returns hits us all you know what i'm saying so i think that this is what that could be maybe they're they're saying it's a you know they're saying it's a completely model change but maybe it's just so much more powerful but it's still within the range of the switch you know kind of like the original xbox the xbox one x maybe it's that or maybe it's just their next system you know maybe and they're going to just roll with the the switch and the switch mini um until their next generation system is ready to go i'd probably think that they're going to have backwards compatibility uh, just because there's so many great switch games i don't think they're going to drop this whole cartridge thingy and all that um so but yeah there is a next generation and you know they didn't even say like next generation they didn't even say like next generation switch they just said next generation device that is a full model change from the switch so it could be a regular set i mean technically speaking i don't think it will be but it could be a regular set top box i mean that's just something that you know, that, that, that's out there because they didn't say it's like the next generation Switch. They just said next generation device. That's a full model change from the Switch. That could mean a lot of different things. Model change as in like, it's not the same device. It's not like a Switch Pro. That's what they're saying here. So at least that's what I think it is. So there you go. Um, let's see. Kaido J says, apparently some of that information is wrong due to mistranslation. Okay, but what information is wrong? And once again, this is just a rumor in the first point. You know what I'm saying? So this is just a rumor. So even if there is a mistranslation or whatever the case, it's a, it's a rumor. Like I said, but none of this even, if you look at it, none of this even is like too out of, like, out of bounds or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like none of it is really like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this or anything like that. Like none of it is. Nintendo's working on a more powerful next generation device. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been it, we're going on more than two years plus past the Switch. That makes sense. Nintendo's working on a, a Switch Mini, a cheaper Switch. Yeah, yeah. With the Wii, they made a cheaper Wii. They made a cheaper DS. They made a cheaper Nintendo 3DS. Why wouldn't they make a cheaper a cheaper Switch? You know, something that's smaller, that's less expensive. Well, I mean, so to me, this all makes sense. But once again, we're gonna have to wait and see um so yeah do you think the switch mini will still use nvidia tegra could the form factor be smaller without comp compromising too much specs yeah the form factor is small the nvidia the the tegra is the the size of a this, this tiny little chip so i mean that's not what makes the switch the size that it is you know what i'm saying like the reason why the switch the size that it is part of it is because of how big the joy cons are if it was a modular device like the ps vita it'd be a lot smaller you know, but Nintendo could technically take a PS Vita, put a Tegra chip in there, not have Joy-Cons, and it'd be the same. It would be almost pretty much the same size as a PS Vita. The screen's a bit bigger, right? So you'd have a bigger screen, but it wouldn't be too much bigger than what a PS Vita is. 
uh, the thing that makes the switch bigger is the joy cons that's that's the thing if you look at the tablet by itself it's actually not too big the tablet itself but the joy i mean if you built in that and then made the screen you know less of a bezel it would be it'd be smaller and it'd have the same same specs but like what makes the switch go is it's this tiny little chip inside there that's really what it is and also the battery the battery is what makes the switch the size it is too you can have newer battery tech um, probably put something that's smaller but more battery efficient in there at this point with the advancements and you can have a smaller system easy you know um let's see here Dan, i really hope the switch pro is delayed because i always felt like it was a bit too soon for a pro version um, i feel like next year is a good time to release it well danielle they're not saying that it's going to come out this year they're not saying that like with the switch the switch pro or whatever this next switch they're not saying that they're saying that the, they're saying that the switch mini is coming out this fall and then it's just gonna follow that later. This would the next, but they said it's they said it's coming later. So I don't think there was I don't think a Switch Pro personally for me I don't think like a Switch Pro if it was like a big jump or something like that I don't think it'd come out this year. Um, if it's what they're describing here, even though if there's, there might be some mistranslations or whatever, but if it's what they're describing here, then um, then I don't think it would come out next year. I think this would come out like in the next two or three years. If it's like a new Nintendo 3DS type of situation, then yeah, I think it might be a little, I mean, it could come out this year or it could come out next year, you know, um, but either way, like new Nintendo 3DS to me wasn't that like huge of a jump, whereas other people disagree. They feel that it's a really big jump. So, so yeah um uh fazimoto says i guess a better question would be speculating what chip would be inside the switch pro exactly i think th i think that's a good uh that's a better question a little bit better question right um <clears throat> i think it would be a custom chip I, I you know the tegra x1 they say oh well, it's a custom nvidia chip in the switch but it's really just kind of like a down clock tegra x1 you know so there's not really much to it you know um outside of that um so i think that they would they would have to use some type of custom tegra nvidia chip for this they'd have to um you know other to so the switch can punch above its weight but i mean there's other chips like there's like volta and there's other stuff that uh that nvidia has but i think they'd probably take a higher model of whatever they've got you know a newer model and then make a custom chip out of that because they'd have to do certain things make when it runs in portable mode when it runs in dock battery life all that stuff plays a factor into it you know so so yeah um all right, we got our uh, first donation of the stream, uh, Rasta Life Reggae, with a dollar donation. Uh, no message, just a dollar, but I do, or uh, just a dollar donation with no message on there. Um, so, so thank you, man, for the donation. I really do appreciate that. Uh, put your dollars in your pockets. Um, and let me go in and get your name up here. You are the top stream ninja for the stream. So thank you for the dollar donation. She can, she can Zelda look upon you, my man. Rasta... Okay, my mom loves reggae music. That's her favorite. Um, all right, let me put that one there. Let me make this a little bit bigger. All right, there we go. I think that's good. Um, Shadow King says uh, there's a Tegra Xavier chip as an option for the chipset. Yeah, there is that as well. Uh, but I, just, I think that they would probably take, yeah, something like that, like a Volta or a Tegra Xavier or something. One of the newer models, you know, after the X1 or whatever. And they'd probably just customize it and see what you can do, go from there, you know. Um, so, yeah. So, hopefully better CPU cores that are more efficient. Well, with any of the any of the newer chips, they're more efficient, Spider Monkey. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, if you look at, like, the anything that's above the, the newer ones, they're all more efficient. Blazing Vitsini, what's up, man? How you doing today? Good to see you here. Um, just enjoy the uh, the system and wait until they announce something. I think that's the biggest thing. That's why I said it's good that we're, you know, everyone's talking about games because this report came out and, like, nobody even, I wouldn't say nobody cared on my channel, but it's not even like this got, like, a ton of views or anything. Like, this barely got any views on my channel. I mean, I don't know. I don't seem like it, like this report's not blown up all over the place, but I think people are just like, yeah, you know, whatever. When it comes out, it comes out, you know. Um, right now, we got Katana Zero. We've got Cuphead. We've got Joker and Smash Brothers. I mean, people are enjoying games, and that's what I love to see, man. Like, obviously, I want things to do better when it comes to the views, but at the same time, like, people are enjoying games. People are just like, hey, you know what? Whatever, you know? They see the video, and like, all right, that's cool, but I mean, I'm enjoying my games right now, so I think at the end of the day, that's what people are doing. A lot of people are just having fun. 
Um, let's see here. Do I think the, the light will be a better than the original model? Well, better in what way? It's hard growing up in the streets. Like, better in which way? I mean, are you talking about in, like, battery life and stuff? Yeah, I would think so. I think it would follow the same type of process that we've seen before with um, Nintendo's previous systems. So, like, a DS to a DS Lite, something like that. Um, with the Switch Mini, that is. Like, a Switch Mini. Uh, we're all playing Cuphead Smash. And, yeah, exactly what you're saying <laughs> as I'm typing. Yeah, exactly. And I'm, I'm, I'm completely down with that. I'm simply just giving you guys some information that's out there, you know, while you're, while you're maybe some of you guys are playing right now and listening to me, you know. I mean, it's cool to be informed on different things that are kind of going around, but still enjoy your games, man. I mean, heck, I've been playing more. You guys have been seeing more, um, you know, uh, Let's Plays with different games that have been coming out because things are starting to pick up a little bit more. But I think... Um, I think next week is Dragon's Dogma next week. So that's going to be a lot of fun playing some Dragon's Dogma for you guys um, on the Nintendo Switch. Going to have a Let's Play for you guys. And then I'm going to maybe do some live streams with it as well, depending on how uh, you guys are watching it and stuff. So, so yeah, man, I'm really looking forward to it. Let's see. Um, hasn't it been rumored for over a year now with the Switch Pro and Mini? Yeah, it has been. But the difference, the difference with this now is that we're actually getting certain details in terms of, okay, it's coming out. At this period of time and then now this is the first report that we've seen in terms of a completely different model change what they're saying here the Nikkei is saying they're saying that this is a next generation switch so they're saying this is like think of it like not like a not like a ps4 pro but think of it as a ps5 you know they're saying like nintendo's ps5 is is coming that's what they're saying they're saying a next generation device that is a full model change you know so that's that's what i'm gathering from it now that hasn't been rumored since last year at that point what we've been getting since last year is, okay, we're going to get, like, Nintendo's version of a, you know, DS Lite with the uh, DS Lite with the Switch and a new Nintendo 3DS with the Switch, you know? Or, let's say, a 2DS. A 2DS XL and a, and a new Nintendo 3DS. We're going to get that versions of that with those models into, you know, for the Nintendo Switch. So, uh, so yeah. So that's what that's what's been rumored since last year. You know, this is something a little bit different. The Switch Mini is the same, um, but it's, so the report in terms of how they're doing things is a little bit different than what we've done before, um, or what we've heard before. Um, Jump Mom with the dollar donation. Thank you so much, Jump Mom. Appreciate it. That does make you the top stream ninja since you did use Streamlabs. So I do appreciate that. Um, and Jump Mom says, in my opinion, it's better to release the Switch Mini slash Lite before the Super Switch slash Switch Pro. Also, can you play Jow? Is it Jad Jadbutha? from persona 5 um or alley cat um yeah i can i can definitely play that i probably pronounced that wrong sorry about that thank you uh thank you for using Streamlabs jump on um th that does make it a top stream ninja for today appreciate the dollar donation and um yeah i think you're right dude i think you're you, you know you hit you know you hit the nail on the head there i think it'd be good for nintendo to release the cheaper switch because of the games that are coming out this year um so yeah i definitely see them maybe doing that um i think a cheaper switch is always good you know a cheaper switch is always good um all right, let's play some alley cat i do like alley cat a lot so we'll play some alley cat since you gave me the, since you since you did give me the option since you did give me the option all right let me know how it sounds guys if you guys can hear it or not um it could become like a breath of the wall situation are you talking about like metroid prime 4 delayed for the new switch model um no i don't think so i think i think metroid prime 4 was just delayed because the game wasn't it wasn't shaping up to be very good, and they wanted Retro Studios to do it. So, I mean, I don't know if they're delaying it for... I don't think they're delaying it for the new Switch model. I think they're going to deliver the game um, on the Switch, but you're right. I think it could end up as a, you know, enhanced or pro type of situation, you know, for for the Switch. Um, let's see here. Um, did I miss the Smash stream from yesterday, or did it not happen? You definitely missed the Smash stream from yesterday. Um... Let's see here. Yo, drag, uh, players, is, is Dragon's Dogma just uh, Capcom Skyrim? Kinda. Not really. Um, Alright, so let's go, let's go ahead and move on, guys. Um, I think that that's the reports of the rumors of the Nikkei and the Switch and all that. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing here, guys. Um, and we do have a joke. Well, we talked about Joker at Smash Ultimate. He's available. You guys all go download him. But there's some new information on a, some new games coming to the Switch, PS4, Xbox One. So, uh, the thir a 13 remake has been announced for the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. And um, it's looking pretty cool. Let me, see, let me look at this teaser trailer, see if they got anything. Oh no, it's just, uh, it's not really showing any real gameplay. But yeah, there's a, a 13 teaser trailer. This was a game that was released on the uh, the PS2, GameCube, and Xbox. It's actually a pretty cool game. 
that's been announced uh, once again coming out. So good stuff, good stuff all around. Hey, what's up, Ronald Pingo? Um, Dragon's Dog was way different from Skyrim. It is aesthetically, it, there's some similarities, but like fundamentally how it works is completely different from Skyrim. Yeah, in terms of the combat, completely different. Um, completely different. But I just said kind of just because of the looks of it. But no, in terms of gameplay, I've played Skyrim, I've played Dragon's Dog, but they're not similar at all. They're not. They're not really. They're not really too similar. Um, aesthetics wise, they, they look similar. That's why that. That's why that that gets brought up. Um, but gameplay wise, they're not. I would say if you want my honest opinion on what what is what gameplay wise, Dragon's Dogma is better. Um, progression wise, Skyrim's still better than like ninety five percent of games. Skyrim has one of the best progression systems that I've ever seen in my life. Like it's still to this day, it's better than most RPGs. There's so many different skills and everything, but the gameplay in Skyrim is not as good as other RPGs. But the progression system in Skyrim is 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 definitely S tier. Um, so I don't know if Dragon's Dogma is as good in terms of the progression, but the gameplay itself, yeah, Dragon's Dogma is better. Um, Lion Star, I'm doing good today, man. How are you? Um, let's see. I I hope hopefully Persona 5 is legit. Played about 15 hours on PS4. I'd love to bring it uh, work to play. Well, Persona 5 is legit. Persona 5 S is legit um, because Atlas said that you know they they said that there's gonna be more information on persona 5s <laughs> so persona 5s is definitely legit atlas literally confirmed persona 5s is a real thing now whether it's on the nintendo switch or not now we have to find out about that but the per p5s or persona 5s is definitely legit there's an official website it's an official thing but we have to wait and see what it actually is <laughs> um but like Gary says, I'm going to have to get Final Fantasy X. It'll be my very first. Hope, um, hoping for a good experience. It is very good. It should serve well for my two-hour commutes to school. Yikes. Two-hour commutes to school? Jesus. That's rough. Um, all right. So <laughs> um, let's see here. So yeah, Persona 5 S is being officially revealed next week. So we'll see. I think maybe this is what Nintendo wanted to do. Get everybody hyped for Joker. Get everybody hyped for him with Smash Brothers coming out, and then BAM! Go buy Persona 5 on the Switch. I, I'm pretty sure that's what they wanted to do, but hey, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, now let's see here. So, uh, you said, I met, uh, I met on the Switch. I know, I'm just, I'm just saying, you said, I hope Persona 5 S is legit. And I said, well, it's legit. We, we know it's legit. <laughs> we just don't know if it's on the Switch. <laughs> We just don't know yet. I think it is, though. Based off of what I've heard, I think it's definitely a Switch version, but we'll have to wait. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see, right? Did I say hi to Wound Up Penguin? Hi, Wound Up Penguin. Even if I said hi, I'll say hi again. Um, hours spent playing Stage Builders since download. Dude, there's so many idiots doing stuff on Stage Builder. There's so many idiots. Gosh, they're ruining it. They're ruining it for everybody else, but hey, man. Yeah, that's, I mean, it, it's cool. But I, I think I'm going to just not worry. About, I'm not going to look at anything on Stage Builder. There's too many idiots. Um, let's see, I all just said when you had Joker streaming and Zero did it. I mean, some people were able to download it, some people weren't. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. It's not like Zero gets preferred access to Smash Brothers content compared to me. I mean, I get, I get it when I get it. You know, everybody got it at the same time, or at least tried to get it at the same time. So, there was no pre-download. So, so yeah, man. Uh, did you check out my Gameplay Galleon stage? No, I didn't check out your Gameplay Galleon stage because you didn't. You didn't even tell me that you had a gameplay galleon stage, um, and I I'm, and I was busy. I was working all day yesterday. I don't have time to really check out a bunch of stages right now at this point. There'll be certain days that I check out stages and I'll play them, but I I just don't have time to look at people's stages and do all that. I was yesterday. I literally worked um, thirteen hours yesterday. <laughs> I worked in the morning, took a little bit of a break. I streamed for two hours, then streamed again for another five hours, and then I worked on two separate videos for you guys, which took me like at least uh two to three hours to edit um two two out two and a half hours for the first video and then another uh gameplay video for katana zero so i was working all the way till 3 a.m i had no time to be looking at people's stages and stuff um yo what's up kj2399 um let's see here um uh, every stage builder i've played on has been body parts of sorts some are uh are very creative yeah exactly it's that I, I don't have time for that that's not going to help me get better at smash brothers it's just stupidity but yeah it's all about fun though so if you find that stuff fun have at it but i mean expect expect stage builder get to get nerfed you know in the next uh expect stage builder to get nerfed in the next few days i mean let's just or in, in a little bit uh, expect smash world expect more communication features 
expect all that to get nerfed, you know, pretty soon here. So there you go. Um, but I guess it was worth it for laughs, right? It was funny. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and move on, guys. We're going to move on to the Castlevania Anniversary Collection. Um, let's see here. Um, that launches on May 16th. May 16th for the full lineup. Um, uh, and they got all the games. We All the games have been revealed in, in, in the um, in the full lineup and unfortunately there are no metroidvania games so here is the full lineup of the castlevania anniversary collection um it's going to launch digitally for the playstation 4 xbox one switch and pc on may 16th for 20 dollars um and it will include eight titles castlevania on the nes castlevania 2 simon's quest on the nes castlevania the adventure on the Game Boy, Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse um, on the NES, or from the NES, Kid Dracula from the Game Boy, Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge from the Game Boy, Super Castlevania 4 from the Super Nintendo, and Castlevania Bloodlines on the Genesis. So, Bloodlines and Super Castlevania 4, those are probably the best games on there. Bloodlines is, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's the one with Bloodlines. That's the Genesis. Quincy Morris's son, John. So yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm not as excited for this, but I gotta buy it for the wait a minute, you know what? There's not even a physical edition. I don't even know if I'm gonna get this day one, dude. Yeah, this I thought they I thought they'd have some Metroidvania, maybe like a Metroidvania or two, but it's pretty clear that they're gonna do another one because they said it's like the like if you go on the website they say like it's the first in the line of it. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a Castlevania Anniversary Collection too, and it's gonna have like Symphony of the Night and Area of Sorrow and like a lot of the you know the Metroidvania Castle the ones that are actually like <laughs> like actually really good. You know, like I mean not to hate not to crap on Castlevania old Castlevania. But let's just be honest here, guys. Metroidvania is a lot better than old Castlevania. Like, Castlevania, like, you know, you know, Symphony of the Night, you know, Order of Ecclesia, Area of Sorrow. Those ones are just better than these older ones, man. Like, you got the Kid Dracula and all. I mean, I'm not trying to play all that. So, yeah, either way. Uh, Psycho Pie, we're on uh, Castlevania um, Anniversary Collection. The whole, uh, the whole, no, that's been made, like, the whole all the different games in the collection, and it's just mm, not the best. Uh, Gallo Games says, I like the old Castlevania, but uh, wow, no Metroidvania games in the lineup kind of hurts. Yeah, it does. I mean, I can get it for the old school classic fans. Don't get me wrong. This is actually a pretty dope clip. For 20 bucks, this is actually, it's a good value. I mean, you get eight games. You get all these eight games for 20 bucks, and it preserves them in a certain way, you know, to where you can download them um, and play, and that's great, you know, so it's not a bad, you know, it's just a few bucks per game, you know? um it's just a few bucks per game so that's not bad at all that's actually not bad that's actually not bad like two dollars and something cents per game that's good so you can't you, you can't sit there and crap on this too much uh but at the same time i mean it's like i know there's going to be another collection with the other ones in there you know so so yeah um super castlevania 4 is actually really good super castlevania 4 is actually really good um castlevania bloodlines is good too um, some of the other ones in here, let me double check. Which ones do I like from here? I like Super Castlevania 4. I like I like Castlevania Bloodlines, but like the Game Boy, I'm not trying to play like the Game Boy ones, you know, like Game Boy Castlevania. I'm not trying to play all that trash, dude. Because like they're worse than the other. I mean, back then in the day, it was cool, right? right or right, <laughs> right to play a Castlevania portably because that was different. But like in today's day, like to play something like this, like some of the like the Game Boy Castlevanias, those are trash, man. Like they really play like trash because there's so many limitations. Like the Super Castlevanias, and the other ones are, and the other ones are so much better. I mean, I'm not trying to play, you know, because like back then the Super Nintendo or like the NES was separate from like the Game Boy. So, but now we have a system that's you know that we can take anywhere that we want. So I don't know, man. It's just uh, mm, interesting. Um, let's see here. Uh, it would be nice if Nintendo would publish a collection of DS games. Yeah, I mean, there's some DS games that Nintendo could bring, like a collection of them. That'd be nice. Yeah, definitely be nice. Um, let's see here. Uh, good afternoon, OJ. What? Okay, I already read that. Um, all right. So I guess we're going to move on from that topic. There's that. Um, and I think that is it in terms of the... Let me go 
Katana Zero. Okay, yeah, Katana Zero. We'll talk about that real quick. Um, if you have not seen my gameplay video of Katana Zero, make sure you check it out. This is a brand new game from uh, published by Devolver, Devolver Digital. And it's like a Super Meat Boy action game. You know, like action game where one hit kills you no matter what. And like you go through levels with like staircases. And it has like a, a noir type of uh, story to it. Very somber, weird tone. Um, it's just really cool. Katana Zero is just a really cool game. It's not too expensive, 15 bucks. A little bit more on the premium side of things when it comes to indie games. It's like, you know, pixel. But, like, you don't even notice it. Like, when you're playing the game because it moves so quick, it's blazing 60 frames per second. Everything is so responsive. And, like, the HD rumble simulates you, like, slashing. Like, it, like, like a sword slash is going across your controller. It is one of the most unique HD rumbles that, but it's like every slash is like that. Even like when you hit somebody like with like a bottle or something, because you can hit somebody, everybody dies in one hit. You die in one hit, they die in one hit. And like the boss battles are not even really like, bot, like, like you're eliminating targets that are bad, bad targets for like an organization or something. And it's just like the options that you can take, the different types of gameplay in the game, the level structure and layout and kind of how it is. And when you like mess up, this is this will not work and then like you rewind you have like bullet time or whatever slow-mo it's just cool there's a little nice little dodge roll i just i, I really like it. i really like katana zero i think it's the next must play game on the switch you know cuphead's out today but i think katana zero definitely um you know deserves some time if you guys have the uh, you know opportunity to to play it so really excited about that katana zero um definitely gonna be playing it some more might stream it i'm not sure if i'm gonna stream it tonight just because um i'm not sure if i'm gonna have time because i do have an appointment to go to um but um but yeah man it's, it's definitely really good it's definitely really good um so yeah that's that all right uh so we got to blaze right through all of the topics for today there was a lot of stuff and we just kind of got right through it uh, i think everybody's enjoying joker today i am gonna check out to see if there's any um actual other things going down if you guys have anything else that you want to talk to or talk about feel free feel free to um to link it to me or not link it but uh Tell me that in the chat. Uh, we'll also open it up for random Q&A. So if you guys have questions, I definitely have answers. Definitely can answer questions for you guys. So feel free to uh, let me know about that. Um, so yeah. Let's see. Uh, Dave Gaming says, Castlevania, Simon's Quest is Metroidvania style. Simon's Quest? That's not in the... There are no Metroidvanias in this thing. Castlevania, Simon's Quest. Castlevania 2? Simon's Quest, that is definitely not a Metroidvania style game. Metroidvania um, started with um, with Iga, with Symphony of the Night. That was the first Metroidvania game. S Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest is not a Metroidvania game. Um, so no, that, that's incorrect. Um, the first Metroidvania game was Symphony of the Night. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Um, so if you guys have, once again, if you guys have questions, I've got answers for you, so... Uh, Shadow King 1982 says, getting, uh, getting these old ones are important if they end up releasing all the old games so we can play the entire legacy chronologically. Yeah, you're right about that. And that's the, exactly, that's the reason why I said, like, I'm not too mad about it or anything, uh, because I know there's going to be more of, like, the older games being released. So this is just the first one in the line of games. And I get that. That's fine. You know? Um, so yeah, that's understandable. Um, what's up, Matthew? How you doing today, my boy? Good, good to see you, um, here in the chat. How you doing? Um, I don't know, um, I, okay, I don't know what some of you guys are talking about. Um, let me scroll back up. Uh, Party Man says, player, uh, people always ruin others' fun. I think you're talking about the, um, the stage builder stuff, so yeah. Gallo says, I'll consider it a buff now. You're talking about stage builder stuff, yeah, stage builder stuff. Um, is yesterday's Smash stream on the channel? No, it's not, because it's stuck in, in processing limbo hell on my channel. Um, I don't know how to get it to work. <laughs> it's just stuck in limbo. I can't get it to, I can't get it to work, but I'll try to, I'll try. I wanted to get it out, um, you know, as soon as I was done the process, but the processing is just, it just won't let it, won't let it work. Um, yo, what's up, Avadon at work? Shout out to my boy. Um, yeah, it just says, it just keeps on saying processing. Um, but I'll, I'll make it live. I'll, I'll put it to where it's public, but it's processing. So you might not be able to watch it in its full, yeah, like when I click on it, it it only gives you two it only gives you two hours of gameplay. It doesn't give you the full five hours of gameplay because it's just not processing completely. So I don't even know how to get it to work. Although I do have the full Twitch, I think I have the full Twitch archive 
and I can upload the full Twitch archive to there. So maybe I'll do that. I'll upload the full five hours on, from Twitch onto there. Uh, Shadow King 1982 says, uh, "Oh guys, if you guys want to ask me a question, tag me at Playersense or hashtag Playersense. Feel free to do so." Um, it says, "Did Nintendo underestimate how popular Joker was going to be, considering what happened with the downloads last night?" Nah, they didn't underestimate it. That's just something that happens when there's a ton of people that go on to download something. Same thing happens like with stuff like Overwatch, which had like a million gazillion pre-orders and the servers were still jacked at launch. Various other products that you know that people know like are going to be on like people. Like companies know that there's going to be tons of people and they try to do the best that they can, but there's just no way that you can simulate like five gazillion people all trying to download something. You just have to try to do your best to test and hope it can it can work. But Nintendo knew people were going to be. I mean, Nintendo had the sales numbers for Joker. They they have the they have the Fighters Pass numbers. They know that everybody was going to be you know getting ready for Joker. So I mean, they didn't underestimate it. It's just something that happens sometimes. Sometimes it just happens. Um. <clears throat> One game that comes to mind, Diablo 3. Yeah, Diablo 3 had server issues. I tried to log in uh, Diablo 3 when it first launched, and I, could, I couldn't log in. There were so many server issues at first. And they all, I mean, Blizzard knew that Diablo was going to have, you know, going to have tons of people pre order I mean, way more people that are probably playing Smash Brothers were pre-ordering, you know, and getting ready for, you know, Diablo 3. So, yeah. How many people do I think brought, bought Joker? Well, with the Fighters Pass? I think definitely in the millions definitely at least to at least i would say minimum three to four two two to four million somewhere in that range we're probably all trying to download joker at the same time so yeah um Wa uh, waluigi is not coming as dlc he's or he's just he's an assist trophy so they're not going to wreck common out of an assist trophy and make him dlc um I bought Joker. Yeah, I think a lot, a lot of people bought Joker. I would say million, millions, you know, maybe tops five million, but I would say at least two to four million were all trying to download at the same time, which caused issues, which caused some eShop issues, which we all saw. It happened to me for a little bit, like it stopped the download, but then I, I tried it again and it just let me update my game and Joker was there. So I was able to play. Um, so I was able to play, but I know for next time, like when we we're gonna, we're definitely going to be streaming into it for next time. Um, I'm, I'm going to start the stream a little bit earlier, uh, like for the next DLC character. Um, so, yeah. Uh, or they released the content by time zones. It would avoid yesterday's fiasco. It could. But then again, the Switch is region free. So, it doesn't matter if you do it by time zones. People can just log into any type of whatever they want to and do that. So, I mean, you could do it by time zones, but people can just log in and download it. They can make whatever profile they want and download it. So, at the same time, they could. But, I mean... That also pisses some people off too when you do that. Some people can play as Joker, then you can't, you know? So, I mean, I'm more of a fan of worldwide releases and like, hey, everybody gets it at the same time, not this person gets it at this time, this person gets it at this time. I know that helps them out, but I mean, I'd rather have it to where they, you know, they learn from this. They say, okay, this is what happens. The eShop crash, okay, what we can do. Because once like this happens, you can see where the, the vulnerabilities happen from, you know? Um, and then you can fortify that. I don't want them to rely, I like, gimp themselves, neuter themselves or, you know, debuff themselves because this happened. I want them to learn from it and say, okay, next time, whenever we release the next character, whatever it is, we're going to be, um, we're going to take this precaution or we can fix this error. So we all get it at the same time instead of saying, okay, well, we have to do time zone things, you know, where, oh, now we get it at this or now we get it at this. So, I mean, that that's my, that's my idea at least, or my, my thought process on that. Um... KJ2399 says, I'll take Waluigi over Steve. Good God, LOL, uh, at, you know, at he's first party and Steve looks dumber than him. <laughs> They're both stupid looking. Steve is a stupid looking character. He just blocks. Um, Waluigi is a dumb looking character. But yeah, Waluigi is first party. But at the same time, you got to remember Waluigi is an assist trophy. So at, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You know, at the end of the day, it does not matter. So it is what it is. Um... All right, let's keep it going. If you guys have, like I said, you guys got questions, I've got answers for you. Feel free to uh, tag me at Player Essence or hashtag Player Essence, and you guys can ask me a question. Who cares about the way they look? It's 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 about the gameplay. Well, I mean, it is about the gameplay, but with Smash Brothers, it's like, okay, well, Steve, he's a, he's a mind block dude. I mean, it's like, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if I'd be if, 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 like having him 
would be fun to use Steve or it would be fun to use Waluigi. Like, was it, would it be fun to use Waluigi? I don't know. That's not my, I don't know if it would be, but that's just me. I don't, I don't like Wario too either though. So I'm not a big fan of Wario, like duking on people, like farting on people. That's not fun. I don't ever use Wario. I hate him. You know, like, whereas like Joker, like he's cool. Like the source material matters, I think in Smash, right? Because based on the source material, that's what you can use to um, like have fun with the character, right? Or like a character. It's the same reason why I want Chrono, because, like, the source material. Like, the source material of Minecraft and Waluigi are dumb. I mean, I'll just be honest. The source material is really stupid. So, I mean, Wario is better than Waluigi, because Wario's actually gotten games, like, he's starting. Waluigi has no games that he's starting at all. Like, none, really. And Steve, he ha all he has is Minecraft. He has one game, and it's just like, you don't even... He's, he's like a block man, you know? So, I mean, it's like, the source material for me is the reason why I'm just like, I don't care about them, because I don't care about, like... While Luigi's like tennis rackets, like he's been in sports games, he's been in like he hasn't he hasn't started anything, you know. Um, um I think about Manning Joker has some similarities with Sheik. He does have some similarities with Sheik, but I really I think his like his up air. I mean, that's about it. <laughs> I mean, maybe sp running speed and stuff is about. I think Sheik Sheik's a bit quicker. Um, but yeah, really, I think uh, he just has he has some similarities. Yeah, some similarities with him um you can't do fair strings or anything like that um so yeah um but the up air is the same even like the landing animation of how like he plants down the kind of spins back up like even that's the same as sheik's so th that th th there is that um he's stronger than sheik though sheik's uh sheik is weaker than joker joker's good joker's better than sheik though because joker has arsena without arsena joker's not as good but with Arsena Joker is good because you get it multiple times. If you're playing a three stock match, you'll get it at least. Uh, if you counter, you'll even maybe get it seven or eight times in a match. Normally, you might get it three or four times, you know, um, based on just not countering anything, just getting hit and, you know, stuff like that and landing hits or whatever. Uh, but if you actually use the counter, you know, um, it's good. And Joker's, uh, Joker's also good against projectile based characters because he can just... He can, he can hold down his counter and he absorbs it. So, you know, basically what they wanted to do is make this game, from what I understand, they made shields better against projectiles. So they want to make the game less campy. They're trying to nerf. I mean, Samus got basically a system-wide nerf because projectiles just aren't as good in this game um, anymore. And shields are better against projectiles. You know, Wolf got a nerf in that way too. Uh, but also Joker is very good against projectile-based characters because he can just absorb stuff. And then it gets him Arsene, which makes him stronger. You know, so I think the character is well designed. It's a very well designed character. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah. Um, let's see. Let's get some more. Qu okay, we got some qu more questions here. Thank you guys for uh, supplying some good questions. Uh, Ronald Penguin says, "Why do you, why do people uh, why do people these Western characters going to be in Smash? Uh, people are just you know they're throwing stuff out there. You know that's the reason why. It's not necessarily because." they think more so than that they're just like hey like you know this would be cool because they're just they're just talking about characters in general they're, they're not taking it at like another level but but at the same time you have to think about it this way on a penguin um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and say that it's not possible i just say that it's not likely it's not likely for nintendo to reach outside to a western character but you never never know like at the end of the day i think it's going to be all japanese characters from major japanese franchises but at the end of the day, you know, you never know. You never know. And I think the biggest problem is because Western characters aren't popular in Japan. You know, Joker's popular in the West and he's popular in Japan. Um, Western characters aren't popular in Japan. I mean, the only one, I mean, I guess Steve would probably make, that'd be like the most sense would be Minecraft because that's popular in Japan, right? But a lot of these other characters that people are talking about aren't really a thing in Japan. Whereas like Ryu Hayabusa, he's popular in Japan, but he's even more popular here in the West, you know? So there's a lot of like transformity, like a cost, you know, like... Whereas, like, Western characters usually are not really popular in Japan at all. So, uh, Shadow King says, when did you play Persona 5 on the PS4? Did you ever use the Reaper trick Reaper trick when, uh, when leveling? No, I never used the Reaper trick, but I played it back when it came out in, in 20, early 2017. Um, Psychopath says, I see what you mean. I guess Smash Bros. has a wide appeal. Yep, that's, that's a really wide appeal. Um, tag me at Player Essence, Matthew, so I can see your comments better. Uh, but I saw yours here. Tag me at Player Essence, hashtag Player Essence, or just Player Essence. Um, do you think we'll ever get Trevor in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? Trevor? No, I don't think we're gonna get any more Castlevania characters. We already got them. We already got two. I think that's it. Um, let's see here. Uh, Falco's lasers didn't get the shield stun. Shield stun. Uh, shield stun nerf. A hey, lol. Well, no, just shields are better against projectiles in general, though. For the from what I understand. 
Um, Blazing Vicini says, I think uh, there could be one Minecraft rep, whether it's the Minecraft character. Oh, Microsoft's Microsoft rep, not Minecraft, Microsoft rep. Whether it's the uh, Minecraft character, Banjo, Master Chief, or Cuphead, I guess that, that counts. One would get, uh, the other would get the me costumes. Again, Western characters never get in. Yeah, I mean, there could be. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and say that it couldn't. Like, Banjo, I think it's possible. But, I mean, if Banjo got in, it'd be it'd be a lot because he was he used to be on Nintendo systems more so than anything. But I think Banjo's definitely a possibility. I think it's a possibility. I think Minecraft Steve is a possibility. I don't know about Master Chief or Cup. I don't think so with Cuphead either. No, I think I don't think about those. But I think, the you know, Steve or Banjo could get in just because those have way bigger presence, presence on Nintendo systems. Um, you know, Minecraft obviously is a huge seller on Nintendo systems and Banjo was literally first party back in the day. So, um, so yeah, Hey guys. Yeah. Make sure you guys hit that like button. We got over a hundred people watching. We should definitely have more likes. Um, is Joker's gun useful in any way? Um, yeah. The, if you do the bullet arts, like where he spins above the ground, like there's some combos that you can do with it. However, it puts you, there's a lot of ending lag with it and stuff. So. Um, they're useful, but in situ certain situations, it, his projectile is definitely not the best projectile in the game. I don't think it's anywhere near the best projectile. I mean, Falco, Fox, Wolf. I mean, there's just a variety of characters that have better projectiles than than uh, than than, uh, than Joker. Um, um, Casual versus didn't Halo almost end up on the DS? It did almost end up on the DS, but it didn't. Um, Eval Wayne says, do you think uh, we will get Travis from No More Heroes? No, I think Travis would have been in there. If if Travis was going to be in there, I think he would have been in there in the, in the default roster. But I don't think Travis is going to be in there. Um, I've seen some gimps with Joker's gun in the air shooting down. Well, yeah, yeah, you can do that. Like, let's say somebody's recovering. If somebody's recovering and you do bullet arts where Joker spins in the air and shoots down, that can that can gimp you. That can definitely gimp you. Uh, but but you do put yourself at a little bit of a risk. But yeah, that's definitely some something that you can do um, as an edge as an edge guarding tool. Um, definitely something you can do. That's his only. That's his really his only good edge guarding tool though. Um, outside of him actually going off like going off stage yourself, like he doesn't really have any projectiles that can edge guard like that. I mean, he has his you know, his little thing that he does like that, but. It's not as good as, like, Sheik's Grenade or even Needles, to be honest. Um, and other characters have good ones. Obviously, other characters have better, you know, projectile edge guarding. But, yeah, you can do his bullet arts to jump off the stage and kind of go up and gimp. Um, if somebody's expecting that, though, they're just going to recover a certain way. Um, let's see here. How many times did I die on Cuphead? So far, I've died 55 times on Cuphead. But I'm, like, I'm like a quarter of the way through the game, halfway through the game. I'm not really sure. I haven't I haven't beat it yet or anything. Um, Psychopath says... Uh, Joker's gun's really cool. I don't think it's practical, though. No, I don't think it's super practical, um, but it's it's a thing, you know? I don't think it's, like... Like, I don't really use it too often uh, just because of the ending lag and stuff. But it's, but you can always, I think, like, you can always just, like, do the gun arts and twirl up into the air, but I don't know. It's just... I think Joker has a lot of other tools that are a lot better, so... Um, thank you, Master Dragon 7 v with the host on uh, Twitch. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um... Council versus ask Sakurai why he's got to uh, got to kind of do our boy suit fifty one like that. He's been asking for Travis and Smash for the longest time now. Hey, it's just something that happens, man. It's just something that happens. Not everybody can get in. There's, I mean, where's Isaac? You know, there's 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 Nintendo first party characters that aren't in yet. You know, so it is what it is, man. Um, what's wrong with having Western characters? They are selling game in the, in the West. There's nothing wrong with having Western characters. Uh, but I explained to you, I explained to you very clearly that uh, you know. It's about having characters, you know, that are popular all over the world, not just in the West. You know, a lot of Western characters are only popular in the West, not in Japan. So, so yeah. Um, Mondo Pigu says, you got people here saying Master Chief ain't nobody in Japan that knows or cares what the character is. Xbox has no presence in Japan. Yeah, but I mean, Master Chief would be something to where I think it, it could make more people in Japan care about him if it if Master Chief actually came to a system that they, that you know, that does better in Japan. Like, if Master Chief came, let's say there's like a, a Halo on the PS Vita or something like that or on the Switch, I think people would care about it more, but it's because it's the Xbox. But yeah, you're, you're absolutely right about that. Um, but Master Chief would be a big, big, big thing here in the West. I mean, it'd be a huge thing here in the West. Um, let's see here. Uh, Psychopath says, oh yeah, that comment was before you, you commented about that. Okay, it was before that. 
My mom's buying me Joker today. All right, Mr. Boxy, shout outs, shout outs to uh, Mama Boxy for buying uh, Mr. Boxy some uh, Joker today. Good stuff, man. Uh, do I think Halo comes to the Switch? I, I mean, it could, but I don't, I don't know to be honest, man. Um, I don't really know, but I got, I got to try out some of the stuff that Civilized Sun was saying with the, the, the edge games, but that's only if somebody recovers straight down with that. But I mean, I, I need to try it out. Uh, definitely need to try it out. Um, yo, what's up, Master Dragon? <laughs> what's up, man? Um, all right, let's continue on here. Any other questions, guys? We'll keep going here. I'll probably go for an hour and a half on this one. Um, so we can answer questions for like another 30 minutes. Um, and if you guys have any other topics that you guys want me to discuss, feel free. Random topics are okay. It doesn't have to be about Nintendo. It can be about anything that you guys want. Or like Microsoft and so like video game related, of course. So feel free. Feel free to, to drop any of that here. When you, and I will continue looking. Today's just been kind of like we got all the news and everything yesterday. All the hype and everything was yesterday. So... Oh man. Okay, uh, Reggie Fizume just uh just showed off a what's it called amiibo. Let's look on let's look on a uh, uh, uh the late Satoru Awata. Look at this amiibo. Last time my most touching gift given to me by David Young, Nintendo of America aka Music Bang Refuge. His Awata amiibo made my Ms. Uh, Grand Chris down probably next to Reginator amiibo. All I need is a custom Miyamoto amiibo and the gang is complete. T-shirt. Yo, that, that's actually really cool, man. Custom Satoru Awata Amiibo. Yo, man. Are, are those wings? Oh, those are angel wings, man. Yo, that's dope, man. That's so cool. The Reggie Amiibo. <laughs> and the shirt. And the shirt, man. Yeah, we need the Miyamoto Amiibo, too, man. Um, Ozzy Kofi with the subscription. Thank you so much, Ozzy Kofi. Welcome to Leaders of Village of Player Essence. Do appreciate you subscribing to everything in the chat. Please welcome Ozzy Kofi to the channel. Thank you so much, man. Yo, that's really cool, man. That's really cool. I really like that. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, Katari says, hey, guys, I just started watching your birthday stream, and I can't believe you turned 45. I thought you were, like, 35 to 37. <laughs> I know it's a bit late, but happy birthday. Yeah, man, I turned 45. So, it's it, it's very interesting. Very interesting. But thank you. Thank you for watching my streams, man. I appreciate it. But yeah. Just turned 45, man. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Your casual verse says, um, how good of a strategy do you think um, picking characters that would make people scream the most do master chief for the u.s banjo for the uh, smash faithful etc word of mouth is powerful word of mouth is powerful it is i think obviously joker had a huge you know huge impact so i think that like you know picking those characters could have a really huge impact as well maybe not banjo as much but you know um definitely master chief yeah you want dante in smash dante could get in smash i actually have a number of videos um a number of videos that are already talked about that so mr boxy make sure you check out some of my videos man uh, that i talked about dante potentially getting in do anything for easter player since if you celebrate it uh yeah i'll probably just like go to church or something like that you know just do like the standard stuff um you said uh kotari says man hey you got me what do you mean i got you no i'm 45 no i really am 45 i, I just turned 45 i really am I really, really am. I was born in the what? In the early 70s. So, yeah. 45. 45 years old. Isn't Scorpion the mascot of Mortal Kombat? Kinda, yeah. Scorpion, Raiden, Sub-Zero. But yeah, Scorpion. He's on the cover of Mortal Kombat 11. So... Um... I had Pokemon Trainer, but uses Jimban, Jibanyan, 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 and other yokai. That'd be kind of cool. Um, Warren Weiss, this person just popped in my head. Uh, could we get non-gaming only characters in Smash? Think of Batman or... In no, 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 no. Um, it would be cool to have like Batman or something like that, or Indiana. Well, Indiana Jones wouldn't be cool, but Batman would be cool. Um, but no, that's, that's, that's not happening. And the reason why that's not happening, because that takes, that's too much licensing. That's, that takes way too much uh, stuff to happen like for that for that like for that like sakurai talked about how um he doesn't put anime characters in there because of the licensing and the cooperation that it would take so no like batman or indiana jones stuff like that is not gonna happen uh 
So yeah. Um, I was uh, um, I am was said and laughter of Joker because Nintendo servers broke. Okay. Uh, Tony Hawk for Smash. <laughs> Skateboard beatdown, dude. Um. So yeah, Joker's in Smash. Why not Batman? Yeah, I know exactly. Joker's in Smash. Why not Batman? Um, is Lila a legal stage? It is a legal stage. In my area, they made the stage legal. It's 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 legal everywhere. It's legal. Or most areas, it's legal. But yeah, it's a legal stage. At majors, it's legal. So yeah, Lila is definitely legal. James Bond for Smash. Double, uh, GoldenEye 007 for Smash. Um... All right, but if you guys have any other normal questions, feel free to uh, let me know. Uh, you, you spelled my name wrong, uh, Z2K, but I, I see your question here. Uh, do you play any other fighting games? If so, who do you main? Any other fighting games? I play Pokken a bit, but really I just play Smash. I just p basically play Smash. But um, in Pokken, I, um, I was a Lucario main. Lucario main. Um, boom. All right, any other questions, guys, without <laughs> any other questions that you guys have? Uh, I've got probably about 15, 15 more minutes of questions, 15 to maybe a little bit longer, depending. Uh, but everybody, man, everybody's out there. Everybody's enjoying games today because that's, that's the cool thing about today, man. There's so many games that are out. Everybody's really just enjoying a lot of the cool games, so I'm happy about that. Probably going to do some more Let's Plays and some stuff um, for you guys tomorrow morning, too. Um, what are the chances of Cuphead doing better on Switch than, than Xbox? Very high. It's already number one on the eShop. And when the physical edition comes out, yeah. Sean Wilson says, wasn't Sakurai criteria for a character to be included in Smash was that they had to be a video game character that appeared on the Nintendo platform? That wasn't any guaranteed criteria, but you have to remember that Nintendo picked the DLC characters, not Sakurai. So think about it that way as well. Um, I main villager about to main Joker. Joke, main Joker villager was my main in Smash 4. Okay, that's cool. Sounds good, man. Looks like you got a plan. Um, Warren Wise says, can you give me a mini review of Bayonetta? Never played a Platinum Games before, but Astral Chain has me hyped thinking of giving Bayonetta a go. You should, first of all, you should buy Bayonetta. It's the greatest, it's the greatest action, stylish action game ever created, in my opinion. Um, Bayonetta, a mini review of Bayonetta is that the game is basically take Devil May Cry, but then just make that a lot better. Um, it's all about stylish action. It's about comboing up your opponents, hitting them up into the air, beating them up into the air, filling them full of bullets, slamming them back down. So think of it like a evolved 3D beat em up from, you know, from something like that. And basically you get a, a variety of different weapons. And the coolest thing about Bayonetta, which is unique, which you don't see in any other style action game, is that you can equip weapons on your hands and on your feet. So, and you can mix and match them. So let's say you want the whip, right? You have like a viney whip. You can put those whips on your feet and they would do different types of attacks and different combo strings than having it in your hands. So let's say uh, you have like a katana. You can hold a, you can have katana on your feet or you can have them in your hand and use it that way. So there's so much variety. Um, there's different weapon sets. Uh, there's witch time. So there's like slowdown of time. I mean, it's just fantastic, man. <clears throat> it's a great game. Um, to me, <clears throat> excuse me, it's still the greatest action game. Uh, Bayonetta 2, there still hasn't been another stylish action game. You know, that's been better than Bayonetta 2, in my opinion. Um, all right. Let's continue on here. Uh, Shadow King says, I just ordered Final Fantasy X off PlayAsia today. I'm glad this is an option, unlike the old days where the Japan exclusives were stuck in Japan. Yeah. Well, you know, or unless you knew somebody in Japan that can ship it to you. You know? So, yeah, I'm so happy about that, too, as well. I ordered mine. And they got plenty of copies, so that's really good. Um, J2 Blue says, um, well, I know Nintendo uh, picked the DLC characters. Do you think they picked them based on what games Sakurai likes? No, I think they picked them based on what they felt would be the best option for them going forward business-wise and for the game-wise. So, no, I don't think they picked it based on what Sakurai likes. <laughs> I really don't think they I don't think they did. Maybe they considered it, but I don't think they said, hey, Sakurai, what do you like? Okay, now we're picking. Then Sakurai picked the characters then. If, if they, if they picked the characters based on what Sakurai likes, then that means Sakurai technically picked the characters. You know, he said Nintendo picked the characters. So, yo, what's up, Rilo? How you doing today, my man? Good to see you here. Um, how was Stage Builder? How it's it's Stage Builder? It's, it's good if you like Stage Builder. Um, 
casual verse says um any thoughts on when a physical for cuphead would drop probably later in the year man probably like in the fall sometime so just so yeah um Kuntari says um are you planning on uh playing Zan zanki zero at some point i haven't picked it up yet because i'm broke but um but i will when it's a little cheaper i don't know what zanki zero what what is zanki zero i don't know what that is um, do you think, uh, Matthew, you have to tag me at player essence, man. Otherwise it's going to be hard for me to see your comments. Um, do you think we can get more Pokemon and super smash Bros. ultimate? I think we can get it one gen eight Pokemon at some point. One Y says, thanks brother. Uh, just a word. My wife walking in on me playing. It's not that big of a deal, dude. If your wife walks in, it's like, I know you're probably joking, but it's not like, it's not that big of a deal, dude. Like it's, it's totally, it's totally like, yeah, she, her clothes come off like, you know, or whatever. You know when she does her wicked weave attacks but it's not that big of a deal at the end of the day the graphics aren't like so amazing to the point to where it's like oh my gosh that looks so realistic she's a weird seven foot tall witch man she just looks weird in general so so yeah you don't gotta worry about that um it's not like if she walks in on you playing like extreme like doa extreme beach volleyball you know it's not like, okay then that's like okay well wait a minute you know what i'm saying like, these women look way more realistic than what bayonetta is you know uh so it's not like that it's just like it's like whatever you know um let's see here vc supper on back i uh, saw a horrible created stage on smash bros ultimate uh okay yeah well i'm not gonna i know that's happening but i'm not gonna try to i'm not gonna entertain these idiots that are making that type of stuff um but yeah re report stuff like that vc re report stuff like that um jarmo says um zanki zero last beginning is a game by spike chunsoft yeah i have no idea what it is man um I have no idea. Um, I think he meant Katana Zero. Nah, he meant Zanki Zero. Zan Zanki Zero. I don't know what that is. Um, it's a game from Spike Chunsoft. It looks similar to Dang Danganronpa. It's just not well known or similar to um, AI from some uh, AI from Chunsoft. Yeah, I have no idea what that is, man. Uh, so I'm not gonna play it because I don't know what it is. Um, I think you might be a little bit young to play Mortal Kombat 11, Mister Boxy. Andrew Vegas says, uh, "Pushes, do you think uh, the next DLC fighter? Who do I think the next DLC fighter will be? Um, I think it's going to be personally. I think it's going to be like a Yokai Watch character, or it's going to be like a Monster Hunter character, something like that. Um, if you're married, uh, get her to wear the same bayonetta outfit, and she can play. So that's how you stay married. There you go. Uh, that there you go, man." All right, Ethan, uh, is it uh, Eero Thenberg with the Twitch Prime subscription? Thank you so much, Eero Thenberg. Do appreciate that. Welcome to the Elite Fire Nation. The soul of Pyro burns within you. Thank you so much for that uh, Twitch pledge, man. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I, I am working on revamping Twitch for you, for all you Twitch boys out there. So emotes and stuff. So thank you, man. How are the videos doing? Eh, I'm doing okay. A lot of people are playing video games today, so I get it. But they're doing okay. Uh, we had a really we had a really good stream yesterday. My stream, in terms of views, you know, it was like it's like near twenty thousand. Although I can't make it public for everybody to see, but um, yeah, we got like twenty thousand views yesterday. So so yeah, it was good. Um, uh, will we get? Okay, yeah, that's not a serious question. Um, let's see here. We need an F zero villain in Smash like Death Deathborn. I think that'd be really cool to have like an F zero villain. Yeah, I agree. Um, I agree um vc says i started cuphead today and only an hour into the game and i already halfway through out too solely because i played it the run uh play a lot of runs and cuphead on xbox well yeah there you go i mean if you've already played the game it's gonna be easier for you clint man says how cool would it be if master chief and crash were dlc then we could finally have the og battle of brands uh, master chief and crash i mean i think by the time that master chief really started getting popularity crash was wasn't crash already kind of on his way out but i mean i guess yeah what you're saying like microsoft wasn't around when crash at a tight i'm not sure if my i mean microsoft was around but it wasn't like i see what you're saying like like mass like crash versus mario versus master chief so yeah okay i see what you're trying to say like that okay yeah crash versus mario versus master chief because that was sony's mascot back then right so <clears throat> yeah that would be <clears throat> that would be the ultimate 90s slash early 2000s battle of the brands that would be the biggest battle of the brands ever mario versus master chief versus cloud so so yeah or sorry not cloud versus um crash crash so 
Um, Donald Penguin says, Nintendo Switch is about to um, outsell PS4 in Japan in the next two to four weeks. Amazing. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I guess. I mean, it's 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 cool. Not in the sense that it's outselling another system, but in the sense that it's doing well more so than anything. Um, Alucard says, I can't remember if you said this or not, but are you getting a Saints Row the third uh, Switch next month? Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm picking it up. Yeah. Um, I'm picking it up uh, next month because it looks cool. Not because I want to play the game, but because it looks cool. Um, Blazin Vincini says, do you think um, it's possible for an Echo Fighter three pack for ten dollars in the future and if so no no i don't think nintendo's gonna do that um and we'd like to see or we think would happen no i don't think that's gonna happen i mean we could see like shadow you know like as an echo or we could see like i mean there could be other thing but i don't think that no i don't think nintendo's gonna have an echo pack for like 10 bucks or anything nah nah they're just gonna do their if they do anything they're gonna do like piranha plant where they release a character um you know for this, like outside of the fighters pass, they're just gonna do that. They're not gonna do Echo Fighters as DLC. That's not. That's not. I mean, it's kind of hype, but it's not really hype. You know, like if anything, what from what I've seen, like they'll just do like me fighter outfits and charge you for that. So they'll just charge you seventy five cents, and maybe you get a hat from something. So that that that's Nintendo's way of saying you want to have a different character representation. Well, get a me fighter costume, you know, for seventy five cents or whatever. Um, Mr. Voxy, I only play against, um, I only play against, uh, Utah, uh, Utah, <laughs> uh, YouTube members. So people who have those badges by their name, I only play against them. Um, and I also play against, um, Patreon's tier two or up. I don't play against everybody because otherwise I just have too many. I mean, I have nearly 50,000 people subscribed. There's just so many people here. So I don't, I don't play against everybody. And this switch only has 300 slots. So, so yeah. Uh, 75 cents. Oh, well, that's going to be 299 per me outfit. Well, there you go. Isn't it like 75 cents for the me outfits or whatever? Um, yo, that's David Jordan says, y'all test Kirby Joker yet? Heard he's OP. Kirby Joker. <laughs> Kirby Joker's OP. <clears throat> it's just, He's got to be OP, man. You got to inhale Joker then see how that's going. Yeah, man. Um, do you think there'll be another fighter's pass? And I think you've already asked that question before, Dink Beam. Um, but there might be another fighter's pass, but I don't, I don't know, man. The more that I think about it, the more that I think they probably won't do it. Just that'll be it. You know, um, Kirby Joker is OP. There you go. He's OP. Just bought Yoshi's Crap to the World for, uh, for my kid. Uh, he's losing it. Yeah, it's actually a really cool. Uh, it's a really cool game. Kids are gonna get a kick out of Yoshi's Crap to the World. I was actually watching Pro Jared, uh, Bobby. I was watching Pro Jared, one of my a streamer, a Twitch streamer, uh, play the game and. Like, he was actually, like, the game is easy, but, like, he was playing some of the harder levels where, like, the Tyrannosaurus Rex comes and, like, knocks down the level, like, knocks down the areas. And, like, he, he was getting hit a couple times. I mean, people were making it seem, seem as if, like, all you do is press the A button and you win in the game, you know? That's what people were, people were making it seem as if it was that. But there's some harder challenges in the level, you know? There's some harder stuff in there to get kind of get everything. Um... Joker, in my opinion, is A tier with Arsena, while he's a B minus tier without Arsena. That, that's fair. Blazing Vicente says, I also had an idea of getting free characters from buying Pacific Nintendo Switch games early, like Piranha Plant. For example, an Astral Chain character for buying the game. Yeah, I just don't think they're going to do Astral. To be honest, I don't, I don't think they're going to do Astral Chain. That game's just way too new. But yeah, I see what you're saying in terms of like uh, you know getting a character for pre-ordering a game or something, but I just don't think. I don't think they're gonna do all that. I think they're trying to make things simple because Smash Alt or Smash for Wii U was very complicated in its DLC plans. I think they're just trying to make things simple. Hey man, you buy this Fighters Pass, this is what you get. Here you go. You know, I don't. I, don't, I mean, like, I think it's getting a little crazy now. What people are trying to say? Oh well, if you pre-order this, then you get this character. If you if you if you, you look this way, do a backflip, then pre-order that. Then 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 say Candyland three times, then you get this character. I just think they're gonna. Here's the Fighters Pass. Here's the characters that you get. There's that. that that's that it's simple you know none of this pre-order this game get this character like i don't even like that crap when other you know like pre-order from here you get this for your game i mean i just just tell us what you want us to buy make it simple make it easy fighters pass these are the characters in the fighters pass that's that make improvements to the game add features to the game but i mean like don't make it don't make it more complex than it really needs to be man you know i think like it really doesn't need to be that complex just the Fighters Pass. If you want new characters, the Fighters Pass. Get the Fighters Pass. That gets you new characters as they come out. Bam. Easy. Um, let's see here. Uh, what characters do you not want to see in Smash? It's not anybody that I not want to see. It's just whatever characters get in, they get in, you know. 
what's up with the switch pro i already talked about it earlier if you want you can dvr rewind but basically another another uh another website is reporting like Nik the nikkei is reporting that there's going to be a next generation switch in development and a switch mini this fall so that's pretty much it but uh, yeah you can watch the replay or you can just rerun the dvr to the beginning of the stream if you want to hear more about it but i can't go over everything with that because that take too long um so pro jared just on twitch down uh, i don't see him upload on his youtube channel nowadays um yeah, I'm not really sure what he's doing <clears throat> in terms of his YouTube channel. I mean, I don't really see his YouTube stuff on YouTube anyway. Uh, but it seems like, yeah, he's really kind of just doing Twitch a lot more now. Um, although he's not on Twitch a lot. So I can't sit here and say that I see him a lot. But sometimes when he is on, he's on and he's playing and it's good. So, but I think maybe he's kind of just doing the whole Twitch thing and maybe making, you know, he's kind of tired of the whole. I know he, he was getting tired of the whole YouTube, you know, algorithm thing. You know, he was getting tired of that. I remember he was complaining about that years ago. So, I mean, you know, with his Twitch channel, he has a good amount of subs. I think he can probably live off of what he makes on Twitch and also his views that he's getting on YouTube, you know. So, and I think he might have another job, too. He might have another job working, doing something else in the video game industry. I'm not really sure. But either way, I think he's fine, you know. I think he moved, though, because his P.O. box changed. Not to get too creepy into Pro Jared. But, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, like I said, I'm a sub of his, too. So, um, it says Washington. W.A.? Is that Washington? So, it says, like, but I know he lived in Los Angeles, so I don't know if he moved. I mean, I'm not sure if he announced this or not, but his PO box that he said like to send him stuff because I wanted to send him a player essence t-shirt. Um, I was like, wait a minute, hold up, what is this? Is this old? Because I saw it and it was said on his stream about for Yoshi's Craft, it said Washington. So I was just like, hmm. Um, so yeah. Um his house got flooded. I know his house got flooded, but I thought he fixed it. So um Oh, you just like, you love speculating. Yeah, I like speculating about crazy stuff too, but I mean, we already have something that you can speculate that's already right there. We have the fighters pass. We saw Joker. I mean, let's just speculate with, within reason, within what we, like within what we have, you know? I mean, now you're saying like, oh, well, they're going to do something completely different from the fighters pass. They're going to do something like this where you, pre like, it's like, why? We don't even need to speculate about that. We've already <laughs> just speculated about what's right there in front of our face. I mean, there's a bunch of different characters that they can pick from. So, I mean, you should at least speculate in reason within like what they've at least announced. <laughs> Like, instead of making up some whole other type of thing, you know, that's not even realistic. So, I mean, spec nothing wrong with speculation. But, I mean, yo, I mean, there's plenty to speculate about with, in terms of what characters they can bring within what they've already announced, which is the Fighters Pass, right? Like, I mean, Persona 5 isn't even on the Switch right now. There is no Persona games on the Switch and Persona 5 came. So, there's, hell, there's, a, there's a lot of different type of speculation you can do from there. But, I mean, I just don't know about, like, pre one game and then you can get this character and all that. I mean, that's just... I don't know if that, that type of thing, it's never going to happen, you know, like, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen with what they're doing. So that, that, that's all I was trying to say. But yeah, you're, of course, you're free to speculate wildly, however you want to, you know, um, how are you liking the Sheik buffs? It's okay, but she still needs some more buffs, though. Um, so, yeah, um, I feel that it's going to end up being somewhat not Dragon Quest up next. Truly shock is because they probably want to release possibly Urgic when Smash and Dragon Quest Eleven S drops. That's true. That's true. They, they, you're right. That could be something. But then again, like, what game? What would be next then? What, what would be your idea of what would be next, in your opinion? Um, Smash will definitely um have more DLC characters in the f four fighters than Smash Four. Another pass, and probably going to happen. Maybe we'll have to wait and see, guys. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, at some point, I think there's going to be just be enough characters, and then you can just sell the game as like an ultimate edition. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Like, a, or like an ultimate game of the year edition where it has. All the DLC characters, everything on there for like 60 bucks, right? Maybe down the line, or maybe not. They never did that with Smash 4 Wii U and 3DS, so never mind. Maybe they won't do that. He said, I think he did move to Seattle. I think he did too, because I know he was in Los Angeles. I think he did move. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I don't know what he's up to. I know he has a... He has, I mean, he's married, so, you know, they probably have joint income, and they live fine, live, live in normal... You know, live a normal life, nothing, nothing crazy. That's that's the whole thing about being a YouTuber, unless you're like one of the top of the top or being a Twitch streamer. Live frugal and uh, you know, do what you can, save, and uh, you should be fine. Even when things aren't going as well, even when views aren't there or things aren't going as well for you, just make sure you save up and you uh, do the right thing when it comes to your money. Um, let's see, a Fire Emblem rep, something actually shocking. A Fire Emblem rep, a Fire Emblem rep isn't coming in the Fighters Pass. That's not coming. Um, Blazing Vitsini says semi-realistic predictions for a fighter's pass came up with four months ago Dante, Sora, Banjo, and Scorpion after thinking about it I think it would be a stretch for Scorpion with Erdrick yeah I mean I think 
Sora, yeah, th those are realistic. Scorpion's not too realistic. I don't think Scorpion's realistic. But I, I think, yeah, if you substitute it with Urgic, that's realistic. I think Dante, Sora, and Banjo are realistic. Um, I'm not as high on Banjo. I'm, I'm kind of more like, well, maybe like a Resident Evil character. So I'm thinking more like a Leon S. Kennedy, a Jill Valentine, Chris Redfield. I'm thinking something like that. I'm thinking Leon S. Kennedy. I, I would think that Nintendo would want Leon in the game because of, you know, Resident Evil 4 is coming out on the Switch. We already knew about that. Resident, a bunch of Resident Evil games are coming out on the Switch. Resident Evil's Resident Evil Revelations is on the Switch already, you know, and um, heck, they have that stupid streaming Resident Evil Seven. Um, so Resident Evil's had a history with Nintendo platforms, so I would think that they would they would want Leon or they want a Resident Evil character in there. Um, so that's that's my guess would be I would substitute, you know, I would substitute my mine would be a little bit different. Dante, I think, yeah. Dante could be in there, I think. Uh, but I would put in, um, I would put Yokai Watch and Monster Hunter. Those are the two franchises that I would put in there. Yokai Watch and Monster Hunter. Because, like, Nathan Adams or something like that from Yokai Watch. Like, Nintendo publishes Yokai Watch here in the West. And Yokai Watch is really popular in Japan. Not as popular, not as popular, nowhere near as popular here in the West. But I think Yokai Watch 4 could boost the popularity of Yokai Watch, like, dramatically here in the West. So, so yeah. Um, I can totally see a RE rep. Yeah, I think a RE rep could be. I think it'd be Leon though. Before, I mean, I know people talk about Claire and other things, but I, I really think it'd be Leon if if they had a rep from Resident Evil, it'd be Leon. That's what I would think. Or Jill, it'd be Leon or Jill. Um, Shadow King says I don't understand when companies don't want to pay to pay for Switch cartridge. Reach out to companies like Limited Run Games or sort to sort to split the cost to speak of. Limited Run Games doesn't do anything with big with big cartridges though. And it's not as it's not as easy as just reaching out and then they're going to do it. There's a lot of business behind it in terms of the minimum orders that you need Shadow King. You're you're simplifying things way too much. You're trying to make it seem like, "Oh, well, you snap your fingers, you talk to Limited Run Games and you have a cart you have 100,000 cartridges for everybody that can buy." And oh, everybody can go buy it and it's easy. It's not it's not that simple. There's the production, there's the manufacturing, there's the size of your game, what you need. I mean, it's and like there's their runs that they're doing, the money that's being spent, they gotta collect the money, how things process. It's it's nowhere near as simple as you're making it out to be. As you're just saying, oh well, they can just go out to them and get a get a get a physical. It's it's not that simple, man. Um so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it is. Like I said, it's based on the cartridge size too. I mean, if you if if your game is bigger, they might not want to do it because the cost of the sizes of the cartridges, you know? So um, it would be great if more developers did it, but it's just it's just not. If it was simple, then they just then they they do it. If it was simple, but it's not simple. Uh, it's not as simple, at least. Uh, Nemesis would be really cool, uh, really cool heavy. It would be really cool heavy, but I don't think they'd make Nemesis over like a, a, a like a like a hero, you know. Uh, Urgic makes the most sense. Urgic does make a lot of sense, but I think I personally feel that like like a monster hunter. I think a monster hunter character makes just as much sense, man. Um, I think he meant Al, uh, Alex, we Alex Wesker or Albert Wesker, his son or whatever his name is. I don't think there's, I don't think it's going to be Wesker. I think it would be, it'd be, uh, it would make sense for a hero to be in there, guys. Not like a villain. It, it'd probably be a hero. Nintendo has problems putting villains from their own games in Smash Brothers. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of villains in Smash Brothers as we speak. I mean, there's a few. We got like King K. Rool. We got like Ganon. Uh, we've got Dark Pit. That's kind of like a villain. Uh, well, I mean, I know we got a few more, but there's not a lot of villains in Smash Brothers, to be honest. Uh, but I don't think I don't think West was gonna be in. I think if there's a Resident Evil rep, it's gonna be a hero. Bowser, yeah, Bowser, uh, Bowser Jr., Ridley. Um, but there's not a ton. There's just there's just not a lot. Um. But Capcom would recommend Chris instead of Leon. Uh, well, I think I think Nintendo would say we want this character. I think Nintendo would pick the character. I don't think Capcom would say, oh well, we're gonna put this character. They just say, well, screw you, we're not gonna put the character at all. I think Nintendo would probably want because Chris Chris Redfield. I mean, he's there in Nintendo platforms. I mean, obviously with the stuff that's coming out. But I mean, I think Leon's more you know more synonymous with with uh, with Nintendo platforms than anything. Meta Knight anti hero Wolf. Yeah, Wolf. Yeah, I already mentioned King K. Rool. Um, King DDD, Meta Knight. Meta, I, and Meta Knight's like anti hero. Meta Knight, like you, you work with Meta Knight at times. So he's like he's like Dark Pit, you know? But like we're mentioning all these characters, right? 
and like that's still nowhere near as many heroes that we have in the game there's like <laughs> you guys mentioned like seven characters right there's like seven fire emblem characters that are all heroes like just within fire emblem so it's like <laughs> and it's not that kind of like all the mario heroes that mario mario luigi princess peach daisy you know um yoshi right there you know <laughs> bam there's five and then I, with the fire emblem that's more than all the villains just just those two I mean, Animal Crossing, obviously, hero. I mean, look at all the heroes in the game. Joker, hero, Cloud, hero. Um, Ro Ugh, God, I meant to be more Fire Emblem characters. I mean, the Bayonetta, hero. I mean, it's just... So, yeah. Um, Dark Samus is a villain. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Hunter? How's it going? Wario was an anti-hero, but he's also Mario's arch emesis. Um, but he's also a hero, though. He's also a hero as well. So, once again... You know, he's just a nemesis, but he's not like a, he's not like evil, you know, he's not like pure evil or anything like that, you know, so yeah, uh, Blazing Vistine says, limited run games is cool, but I'm afraid to buy one of the releases since they're numbered on the spines uh, by release, I don't want to buy one and worry about missing the others, <laughs> that's a really weird way of looking at it, you should buy a game based on, you should buy a game on limited run based on whether you want the game or not, based on, no, not based on where they are, so if a game looks cool and you want a physical copy of the game, and that's where they're offering it physical, then just buy the game. Like, don't worry about numbered releases or anything like that. That's semantics. Just buy what you want. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, VC says Super Smash, uh, Super Smash Heroes. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, in Brawl, Wario was a villain. In Brawl? I mean, but that's just, that's the stupid story that they put together. Wario in his own games, he's not really a villain. He's just like an arch nemesis of Mario. But he's not truly a villain. He just doesn't like Mario. <laughs> I mean, you can not like somebody and still not be a villain if you don't like somebody. There's a lot of people that don't like somebody. That doesn't mean that's the bad guy. He's not a, necessarily a bad guy by any means. He just doesn't like Mario. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Chillin' OG, I'm loving Joker. He's sick. Yeah, Joker's actually really, really fun. He's really fun to use. Really fun to use. Um, mm. <sighs> Kamek should be in Smash. I don't know if he should be in Smash. Another Mario character, Mario franchise character. I don't know if he should be, but um, along with Sir Frederick, yeah, I don't know about those characters. Jump on. Um, is Doctor Eggman a trophy or anything in the game? I don't know if he. I don't know if Doctor. I don't think he is Doctor Eggman. I'm not sure if he is. Mewtwo is a villain. Mewtwo is a villain. Yeah, Mewtwo, Mewtwo is definitely a villain. But then again, Mewtwo was created, so you got to think about it that way. Mewtwo's not a real. No, Mewtwo's not a real Pokemon. He was created, so you got to think about it that way too. Doctor Eggman is a spirit. Yeah, he might exactly spirits. So yeah, there's he's not, but he's not like a, not like a. They don't even have trophies in the game. There are no trophies. They're just spirits. Mm. That's what you collect. I haven't. I've barely collected anything. I agree, Wario's more of an antagonist than a straight-up villain to Mario. Yeah, he just doesn't like Mario. At the end of the day, he just doesn't. Because, like, if you play, like, Wario World or whatever, like, on the GameCube, he's clearly a hero. If you play that game, he's clearly fighting against an evil greater threat. If you play WarioWare and all this other stuff that he does, he's clearly just a dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just mine. He just doesn't like Mario, plain and simple. Like, that's just really what it comes down to. He doesn't like Mario. <laughs> that's what it comes down to. He doesn't like Mario. But if you play Wario World, he's clearly fighting against a greater threat, you know? So, so yeah. Um, I thought Bayo was a, um, I was a bad guy. Bayonet, Bayonet is not a bad guy, no. Bayonet is kind of like a, kind of like an anti-hero, but the way that Bay Bayonet actually saved, kind of saved humanity. But it's not like she, not like she cared, but. It's, it's interesting with Bayonetta. She's not like a super superhero or anything like that. She's kind of just doing stuff for herself. But at the same time, what she did directly saved saved humanity. So, there you go. Piranha Plant, uh, Piranha Plant is a villain. Piranha Plant's just chilling, dude. Piranha Plant's just chilling. He, he don't like Mario either. You ain't gotta like the heroes. He, he's just chilling and, and he, he's just chilling and spitting fireballs and stuff. Okay, the dude, the dude's just minding his business. He don't like Mario. You don't gotta like Mario. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, dude. You ain't gotta like Mario. That that's one thing that I will say. You do not have to like Mario. And if he, he if Mario's gonna come by and jump on him and all this stuff. Oh snap, what's this? Yo! Zilla times two with the Toby Blaster! What is this? Did not expect that. Yo! Zilla times two with the 20? And the Toby Blaster! Thank you so much, man. That does make you the top stream ninja and the stream boss. Zilla times two says, donate, donated 20 says, enjoying listening to your commentary on my commute home. All right. Thank you so much. Zilla times two. Um, hopefully you enjoy. I know you're enjoying it and you're commuting home. Thank you so much for your support. I know you've donated before. Zilla times two, man. So I really do appreciate that. Appreciate you using Streamlabs with that Toby Blaster. And once again, on your commute home, that does make you the top stream ninja. So congratulations on that, my boy. And let's go ahead and get you up here on the board. Zilla times. You guys give some love to Zilla times two in the chat. Once again, he's donated before. He's uh, um, definitely one of the, the tiered ninja here in the village, man. Definitely one of the upper tiered ninja here in the village. So appreciate that, Zilla times two. Thank you so much for the $20 donation. First Toby Blaster of the stream and also stream uh, top stream ninja as well. So thank you, man. Um, all Bowser Jr. variants are villains. Bowser Jr. is just the other variants in the game. They're, they're not really actually other characters. They work exactly the same. So it's just Bowser Jr um even then even if you count all them up there's still way more heroes in the game than villains um i think there should be more female villains we only got windy and dark samus um yeah i mean it would always be great if we got more villains in the game Crazy late to the stream, uh, bummer. Um, how are you recovering day one with Joker? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I gotta learn more though. I gotta learn more with Joker. I gotta gotta do some more labbing with him. Um, I, that's you know what? I was about to ask the same question. Is Dark Samus actually female? Because like I don't know if Dark Samus is a, is a gender at all. Uh, came back from playing Joker a bit and is let so far, especially the music. Yeah, the music's really good. Tomix nine thirty five. Um. Mario murders half of the uh, the kingdom every game for Peach. LOL. <laughs> That's true. Um, Smash says so. Okay. Or it's model up. But I don't know if Dark Samus is actually like... Dark Samus is not like alive for real. It's not... Is it a gender? Like Dark Samus... It's not like actually like a like a thing Dark Samus is, right? Isn't it made out of like the Phazon or whatever? So it's like... It seems weird. Well, she's Samus's DNA. Okay. But is Dark Samus like an actual living being in a certain way or is she like a sentient type of thing you know where like do those things have genders like it, it, can she like gender as in like reproduce gender like that i mean i mean it that way right that's what i mean i don't mean it as a oh well it's after a female character so it, that's female but can like can dark samus reproduce that's what i'm trying to ask right here <laughs> Can she actually, like, reproduce? As in, like, you find, like, a male Dark Samus and a female Dark Samus, and they have a, a Dark Samus baby. <laughs> like, that's what I'm asking here. Like, normally. Or does she, sp or can she, like, split reproduce that way? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, female in that type of sense. Yeah, that's what I want to know. One female villain I can think of is Medusa. Anyone else? There's lots of female villains. So what if I'm listening to? <laughs> I'm just asking a question. I just want to know because they said, oh, well, Samus is female. It's like, okay, well, how female is she? Like, like what do you mean? Uh, maybe Dark Samus is asexual. Maybe. Maybe. Or alien. Dark Link. Dark Pit. Yeah. <laughs> get, a, get, a dark, get a Dark Link or a Dark Pit. And then hook him up, hooks up with uh, Dark Samus. There you go. You have the most intergalactic, he crazy baby ever. Um, but anyway, either way, re regardless. Um, any other questions? Okay, apparently, okay, Kotaku's trending. And if Kotaku is trending, you know good and well. You know good and well something's not uh uh you know something something's wrong if Kotaku's trending. Um
Yeah, they 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 said that Kotaku said uh Kotaku said that Super Smash Brothers or Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Persona 5 DLC includes a disability slur. It says the official lyrics of the song curiously enough does not include this spoken word section. This is our trans of what it said. I don't think they know what they're talking about. I don't think that's the case. They said in the track "Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There," you skip uh, you skip to around 148 into the track. You'll reach a section of the song where the words are soft, softly spoken rather than sung. At around 157, it appears the term "retarded" is used and followed up by the assertion that "I can't say it." The official lyrics for the song, curiously enough, does not include the spoken word section. This is our transcript of what it said. Oh, ah, hi, are you ready? Ready to pick up the pieces? Let's go. Let's play retarded. Can I say it? Are you ready? Uh-huh. I don't think that's the case, Kotaku. Yeah, I, I, that's that's not true. They misheard. Yeah, they misheard the. They misheard it, and they're not deleting the article. They just added a note to it, but they they misheard the lyric. There's that's that's not it. I don't know what they're talking about with that. Um, but anyway, stupid. Um, either way, it makes no sense. Yeah, it makes no sense. Um, I didn't know either too. That's like a disability slur. I didn't know that myself. Um, so yeah, maybe I shouldn't, I shouldn't use that word either. Um, Murdoch Goku says, I'm going to catch the video after the stream, but, um, but what is the new juicy switches? I mean, there's just uh, basically an article um, the Nikkei, which is a respected Japanese uh, publisher, is reporting that uh, there's going to be a Switch Mini out this fall, and like Nintendo's working on the next generation Nintendo Switch after that. I do have a video up on the channel too, if you want to read or if you want to like watch it in like a bite-sized news format and kind of get all the details. I did a video this morning um, about it as well. Um, <clears throat> no Persona on Switch. Hopefully, announcement soon. Um, no Persona on. Wait, wait a minute. What, Gary D, what, what, do you watch the channel? 25th is the announcement. Why are you saying hopefully there's an announcement soon? There should be, there's announcements coming up for Persona games. <laughs> like, hopefully, there's not, you don't have to hope. There's announcements coming. So, I mean, like, 25th, we've talked about this various times. I've had multiple live streams. I've had multiple live streams about this. We've talked about it a million times. Persona 5 S is registered and out there. There's an announcement on the 25th. That's one that's gonna not hopefully announcement soon. The, the announcement's the twenty fifth. There will be an announcement the twenty fifth. We don't gotta hope. We don't gotta pray and plead. Twenty fifth. If the, if it's gonna come, it's gonna come on the twenty fifth. There you go. <laughs> um. Yeah, but the the Black Eyed Peas song is censored, or like the normal the normal um um the it's, it's it's called let's get it started you know the edited version so yeah the the reg yeah the normal version is that but the edited version is let's get it started you know so so yeah any other questions guys i'll answer questions for a bit more and then i do gotta log off so it's going to be an announcement of an announcement. Yeah, I just don't understand why you're saying, oh, well, I hope for an announcement. Hopefully there's something soon. No Persona 5 on Switch. Hopefully they already, if it's, they already, we already know the announcement. The announcement's 25th. There's no need to hope. It's that, if it's going to come, it's going to come at that point. There you go. <laughs> That's already been known out there, you know? Um, Cuphead, yeah, nay, Cuphead's good. Nico Bell can smash. I'm going to time you out for that comment. Shadow Nexus. Um, jump on says hands off my brick, hands off my brick. Um, let's see here. Sorry, I can't, I can't have anything like Nico Belly from from Grand Theft Auto Four. No, that's that's a timeout in the Elite Ninja Village. That's a timeout. <laughs> that's a that's an instant timeout. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Frank Rodriguez? What's what's up, my boy? Says um, DS is I live in um. 
Um, organism made up of Samus's DNA. Yo. <laughs> oh, OJ really hates GTA 4. GTA 4 is... I don't really call a lot of games overrated. GTA 4 is the most overrated piece of trash that I've ever played in my life. Most overrated. And I'm not a big fan of calling this and that overrated and all this stuff like that. Even when I think a game might is, I'm, I, I don't say it. But that is the most overrated piece of trash that I've ever played in my life. It's it's not a, it's not great by any means. It has good it has good voice acting. That's about it. Two good missions in that whole game. Um, let's see. I really like I like. Okay, hold on. Uh, what's up, Game Glyph? How you doing today, my man? Uh, Katana Zero is next level amazing. It is very 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 good and addictive. I love Katana Zero. That has way better gameplay than GTA 4. And it costs a fraction of the... It costs a fraction. Jump on says, Poison, do you like Little Mac? Uh, do I think Little Mac needs a buff? Um, that makes his up special have some type of horizontal range. That'd be nice. But Little Mac is so strong on the ground, I don't think so. I don't know. Um, you want to go bowling with your cousin? No. I don't ever want to go bowling with my cousin ever again. Um, can't argue with that player. Says, Optimization on PC is horrible. It's not even about that, man. The game just isn't good. It's just not a good game. It's just, I mean, it's just, the voice acting's good. That's all good. The graphics at the time were, I get, were good, but the game itself is trash. Like, the mission structure compared to other GTA games, like, what you do, like, it's just, it's just bad. But like I said, once again, this is just my opinion. You guys don't have to agree. You guys can disagree completely. If you like it, then you like it. But when somebody makes a joke at Nico Bellic for Smash... That's worth a timeout <laughs> as a joke. Obviously, I don't care if you say Nico Bell. He was joking, but my joke to that was a timeout. <laughs> GTA 5 is more immersive than Wii Bowling. Yeah. Um, the, I mean, when the, when the controls are actually responsive, yeah. I think the controls were more responsive in Wii Bowling than, 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 uh, <laughs> than GTA 4. Um... GTA 5 is leagues. I don't like GTA 5, but GTA 5 was leagues better than GTA 4. The missions and stuff that I saw from that game were way better. But I told myself that I'll never play another GTA game. So, I'm done. After GTA 4, I told myself I'd never play another GTA game. I'm done with GTA. So, I've, I've held true to that. Um, I'll never buy... Sorry. I'll never buy another GTA game. Now, if it's given to me, that's one thing. But, um, but I'll never buy another GTA game. So, there you go. Uh, Mac is extreme on both sides, so buffing him is hard. Exactly. Buffing Mac is really hard because he's so good on the ground. He's better than most characters on the ground. Like, Little Mac is very good. He's, he's bad in the air, so if you get him into the air, he's bad. But on the ground, he's he has super armor on everything. So buffing him is... is It's 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 a difficult balance just because of the way... The, the, char the way the character works is stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, the way, like, how powerful he is on the ground and everything is just dumb. In my opinion, they should have made him less powerful on the ground. Just make him a normal fighter than just make him, like, with a trash recovery, like... Like Cloud, just make him with a slightly trash recovery like Cloud. You know, make him good on the ground, make his smash attacks hurt, but you don't make don't make him to where he has super armor. Like, I don't understand why he has super armor on everything. Like, little Mac can get hit in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Like when he when he when he fights other people and and punch out, he gets he gets knocked the hell out by freaking Mike Dredrick Tatum, Mike Tyson, dude, Mr. Dream, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Dredrick Tatum, Mike Tyson, Mr. Dream. He gets knocked the hell out. He can get knocked out by anybody. It's not like he's he can super armor through everything. I don't understand why Little Mac has super armor through so many different things and, like, how tough he is. Like, in my opinion, they should have just made him, like, a normal character that has strong smash attacks, somewhat of a trash recovery like, like Cloud, and call it a day. Maybe you still, he still has his KO punch, but he doesn't need to have super armor on everything, you know? Like, that's... When you make characters like that, you can't buff them. You have to compensate, right? And that's the reason why Little Mac is such a bad character because you have to completely compensate because on the ground, Little Mac is a 10 out of 10. He's easily the, one of the strongest fighters on the ground, you know, um, with the super armor and with his jabs and his and his tilts and everything. They're fast. His dodge rolls really good. You know, like he's little Max gray on the ground, but you have to compensate. Right. Oh, well, he has all this super armor. He has all these strong attacks. Oh, well, now he's really trash off the air. OK, but if we need to buff him, if we make his recovery better then wait a minute, now he can recover and he's really strong on the ground. Oh, wait a minute. OK, so we take away his super armor. Oh, wait, now his recovery is not. A, oh, now we have to buff his. Like, he's just a, the way that the character works is dumb. So they need to. They need to fix. They they should fix that instead. They, they just completely. Re, they should have just completely revamped Little Mac in the game, but they didn't. They kept them the same. So whatever. Um, so yeah. 
Um, let's see. I was timed out for saying GTA GTA 4 was fun with friends. You shouldn't have, whoever timed, don't time him out for saying that. Yeah, you should definitely not be sorry about that, Blazing Vincini. Sorry that you were timed out for that. No, you should not be. If you like GTA 4, you should not be timed out for saying that you like GTA 4 or like anything like that. I'm giving you guys my opinion, but your opinions on GTA, if you had fun with it, you should not be timed out for liking GTA. So yeah, that was that must have been a mistake, Blazing Vincini. So no, yeah. And if you got timed out for that, sorry about that. That won't happen in the future. Um, at least mods don't do that in the future. Um, but yeah, if you say Nico Bellic for Smash, that, that might get you a timeout. Because then you're, now you're trying to put that trash into uh, a majestic, amazing, legendary game. You know, you're trying to in insert trash into something that's legendary. Now, if you want to, if you want to, you know, have a trash party and go play GTA and, you know, it's a trash game and, you know, play within the trash, then that's fine. It's all within the trash. You're not bringing it into the trash into something clean. But when you want to sit here and bring trash into my clean, into my clean house, my clean, nice, neat, pristine house, that's when I have a problem. And you got to, you got to be timed out for a bit to understand. But if you want to play with trash and keep it outside, then play with trash and keep it outside. I have no problem with that, but don't bring it inside here. <laughs> now, if you like trash, then that's fine. Like trash. There's probably games that I like that some of you guys would think would be trash, right? Um, so that's fine. No no big deal. Nobody should be timed out or um, no issue with that at all. If you like it, you like it. Great. Glad you, glad you enjoyed it. However, however, bringing trash into Smash Brothers, that's a whole different case. That's a whole different case. <laughs> But no, if you guys like GTA 4, then enjoy it, man. Gaming is fun. Gaming's about fun. It's not about what what I like doesn't mean that it dictates what you guys like. For, I mean, in, in terms of things, like if I don't like something, like I don't like the I don't like The Last of Us. And who cares? I don't like The Last of Us. So what? You can still like The Last of Us if, if you like it, you know? Like, you know? If you like The Last of Us, then you like The Last of Us. Great. Did you enjoy it? Good. It's all about what you enjoy. I'm just talking because I'm just talking from my own perspective. But if you guys like it, then you like it. It's no big deal. Um... No Steve and Smash that also inserting trash. Not as much trash as, as I'd rather play Minecraft than GTA 4. Um, I'd rather play Minecraft. I'll play Minecraft any day over GTA 4. Because at least Minecraft, you don't got to... At least with Minecraft, like, the controls are responsive. At least when you press a button, the controls work. Like, Minecraft has responsive controls. It runs at 60 frames per second. has responsive controls. It's not all freaking jank. Like, GTA is jank. When I played it, at least. So at least my, Minecraft has solid controls. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just chill. You can relax. You can relax and sit there and dig. You know, I don't like the game, but I mean, i rather play that any day over G GTA. You actually have to pay attention. You have to sit there and listen to all their freaking voice acting. I ain't trying to do all that with the trash game. So yeah, I, I'll play Minecraft any day over GTA. Um, Any day. So yeah, that's just my thought process at least. PE podcast today? Yeah, we're having the PE podcast tonight. 6 p.m. PT. 6 p.m. PT? That is 9 p.m. Eastern. PE podcast tonight. <clears throat> PE podcast tonight. Let's see. But, uh, but, but he beat Mike Tyson in his prime. He did, but Mike Tyson knocked him out 5 billion times, though. <laughs> Mike Tyson can knock you out on one punch. So why do you why do you get super armor if that's the case? <laughs> why do you get so much super armor? Um I don't even know who Alex is in Minecraft, so I know all I know is Steve. That's it. I don't play Minecraft like that. <sighs> Alright guys, two more two more uh, minutes and then we gotta log off from the stream. Um, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. If you're not following me, make sure you already follow me on Twitter. Um, so follow me on Twitter and make sure you guys check out Alex is the girl version of Steve, but, uh, but you probably don't care. Oh, is that, is that, is that what it is? Okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't know that's that. Uh, I didn't know that that's what it is. If that's what it is, cool, cool, cool. All right, and make sure you guys check out the videos that I've done for today. All right, guys. I have no interest in Minecraft, but I like Dragon Quest Builders. Weird, right? Yeah, I like Dragon Quest Builders too, but I have no interest in Minecraft. But Dragon Quest Builders actually has like RPG. It's it's like more of RPG elements in my opinion, so it's better. But hey, uh, check out my videos if you haven't seen my videos for today. Um, the Nikki report on the um, on the Switch Pro or next gen Switch. 
switch mini and next gen switch so check out that if you haven't seen it and also the first footage of mortal kombat um tier list tier list has to be something to where like we hit some type of goal i can't do it tier list takes forever i'm not going to do it unless we hit some type of goal or something um also make sure you check out my gameplay for katana zero if you've not seen my gameplay for katana zero make sure you check out my gameplay for that Kind of zero gameplay as well. All right, that wraps it up, guys. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna make the 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 what's it called the stream from yesterday live. But you guys might not be able to watch all of it. There might only be two hours available of the five hours. But hey, it is what it is. But I will make that available for you guys to watch. So if you do want to watch that, you guys can check it out. But once again, it's stuck in processing hell. I don't know what's wrong with it, but YouTube, whatever. Or you know what? I'm gonna import. I'm gonna import the archive from Twitch. Or you know what? I'll probably just, I might just do both. Either way. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I linked everything. Follow me on Twitter. Check out the two videos if you haven't already done so. Uh, make sure you like this stream. If you didn't hit the like button, make sure you hit the like button. And, um, of course, share the channel if you can. Let people know what we're doing over here. Good viewership for a day stream of the day of Joker where everybody's playing Joker. Good viewership. We had over 100 people watching pretty much the whole time. So thank you guys for that. And this PE Live will be, late, will be on later. So if you want to catch the replay of this, it'll be on in a bit. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Yeah, no, no easy mode tonight. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you guys later tonight for the PE podcast around 6 p.m. PT, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Peace, guys.